Hello, folks. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, we invite you to subscribe. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and feel free to share. Hey, folks. Welcome to my channel. Good to be connected with you guys again. It's been a while. I got to say that this is one of the happiest recordings um, in my entire channel because um, I'm here to report that as of today, all restrictions related to COVID-19 have been removed from the DR. That's right. Yesterday, President Luis Abinader held a press conference wherein he mentioned that as of today, or effective immediately, all restrictions um, related to COVID-19 will be uh, removed, which includes the use the use of masks okay um the presentation of vaccine cards to um, access public places um also the necessity to present a pcr test within seven days and um finally virtual modalities will no longer substitute in presence um uh what you would say uh activities schools work things of that nature because you still had a lot of um educational institutions that were doing everything virtually so as of today all those restrictions have been lifted folks okay very happy news that is very happy news um Abinader, President Abinader went on to explain that the death tolls has uh, gone down significantly um, to the extent that we have the lowest in the world right now. Hospitals are no longer um, overflowing with COVID cases. I mean, a year, year and a half ago, it would be the case that you would go to a hospital and there were no beds available. And so now you can actually go to medical facilities and it just seems normal. You know, it's not overflowing with people. It's not, you know, it's not overly crowded. You know, people are not only able to take care of whatever COVID symptoms may be present, but any other ailments, you know, because it, it would be the case that we heard of cases where people would go to hospitals with any other medical condition and due to the overage of COVID, you know, patients, they, there were no beds available, they were not able to get attention. So that situation has significantly ameliorated. And so now uh, we're free guys, that's it. President Aminadin, however, did remind us that safety is a responsibility of all individuals. Even though we're not um, obligated to wear masks, masks. Um, keeping a safe distance is something that we should continue to do. Sanitize your hands or wash them on a regular basis. And if you can, avoid being in places with large crowds. I mean, you know, the pandemic still exists, okay? It's just that the, the, the rate of mortality has gone down to, to a, um, to a standard that no longer causes public concern, okay? And this is why he has lifted the restrictions, but still, let's all be responsible and let's be safe out there, okay? And this is something that's very beneficial for those looking to travel to the country because one of the concerns of a good number of foreigners is either they weren't vaccinated or, you know, they, they, you know, they didn't want to be constantly taking this PCR test, having it performed. So now we're, we're back to pre-COVID existence here in the DR, which is great news. And it also works well. It's fortunate that it, it came before the conference that we're looking to you know, celebrate May 6th and 7th. So that's going to make attending that conference that much easier, that much more enjoyable. You'll be able to explore the city without having to wear those masks. I got to tell you, I was so tired of wearing masks I think that's, to me, that was the best part of all of this. I hate, I hate wearing masks. I couldn't breathe in those things. It's like I was constantly like 
putting it under my chin. I don't know if this happened to you guys, but I would constantly be putting it down beneath my chin when I was in public. And they were like, uh, you know, uh, counselor, <laughs> cover your face back up. So I would constantly be just pulling it up and down so that I could breathe. But anyway, to all the claustrophobics out there like myself, we're free. So this is great news and I wanted to share it with you guys firsthand.